kind of keeping that weather in mind, just like humans, dog can, dogs can suffer from seasonal allergies with signs like scratching, chewing, licking. It can be downright rough on dogs, get it? <laughs> and their people. So here to explain the many causes of seasonal allergies in dogs and how you can help your pooch lose that itch is veterinary, veterinary dermatologist specialist at Zotus, Dr. Dana Liska. Hi, Dr. Dana. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for having me, Ashley. Yeah, so do all dogs have seasonal allergies and what are the real triggers for it? It's a great question. And, you know, talking about the warmer weather is there in the Portland area, it makes me think this is a really good time to have this discussion. And to answer your question, not all dogs have allergies, but certainly we do know through research that it is actually the number one reason why dogs go see their veterinarians. Yeah, and you know, I, I was taking a look at the survey that uh, was kind of conducted before we started getting into this conversation. And here in Portland, we're, we fall in uh, like number 96. So it's it, we're pretty low on the bracket, but still good to get this information out because I don't know another city, another place than, uh, you know, Pacific Northwest that loves our dogs so much. So can you describe for us this of skin allergies in dogs? I think that's a really unique one that we don't think about. Absolutely. So the main reason why veterinary dermatologists see patients in their office is going to be because of atopic dermatitis. And that's just another word for those seasonal allergies. So think of the pollens to the weeds, the trees, the grasses, the molds that are out there. And then also we see a smaller subset of dogs who have an allergy to some ingredient in their food. And then it's pretty common to find dogs out there that are poor things are just they suffer from from itch in their skin because they've been bitten by fleas. Those are the three main Okay, and now w tell us what we should be looking out for. So like, what are the signs that dog owners should be looking for? Because I know anytime I think something is wrong with my dog, I am on high alert, like no joke. Good for you, Ashley, as you should be. I would say this, most dogs are gonna do a little licking, a little scratching, but I want your viewers to have that faith and that inner voice that when they're rubbing, rolling, licking, chewing, biting, maybe scratching at their ears or shaking their head, when they sense that those things are happening more frequently than they should be to a higher degree, I want them to think if it's skin, I've got to get into my veterinarian. So what we know is if you can get into your veterinarian early and discuss those options, your veterinarian is the best person to have that conversation with. And recognizing that we do have modern medicines that really give us some nice options. Yeah. One that we are so very proud of at Zoetis is an FDA uh, prescribed therapy um, that is called Apoquel. And what I appreciate so much about it as a veterinary dermatologist is it starts working within four hours and it's able to control the itch within 24 hours. Wow, that's that's really, really fast. I, I love knowing that. So can you tell us kind of the final takeaway that you want dog owners out there to to remember and take away from this interview? Absolutely. Quickly, if it's skin, it's got to go in. And number two, I would love for your viewers to go to itchingforhelp.com. It's a great place to learn about those options that are safe and effective so that your viewers are ready to have that conversation with their pet's veterinarian when they go visit. Okay, I love it. If it's skin, it's got to go in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Dana, for being here. We really appreciate it.